Hi everybody, it's Cookie Lou in Arizona. Well guys, I'm back home. I'm back from my sail away cruise. I had a wonderful time. It was so much fun. And this is a cup, the World Caribbean emblem on it. Uh, this is a cup that I got on the beach in Lamborghini, Haiti. Uh, they, uh, I believe that's the, um, the island that the cruise line owns, the beach area. So we got off the uh, cruise ship in uh, Lamborghini, Haiti, and we walked the, uh, the pier all the way around the, uh, the uh, land where the beach was. And there's like three different beaches that you can just continue to walk, and they have bars on the beach, and they have a big um, uh, area, a roofed open air area where they have a big buffet lunch. I mean, they said they offered buffet lunch on the uh, uh, lunch on the beach. I thought it'd just be a barbecue sandwich or burger or something. No, they had about ninety different selections of foods there: roasted chicken and pork, barbecue pork and hamburgers, hot dogs. Uh, they had rice and beans, various rices. They had potatoes and salads and vegetables and fruit and cookies and cakes and it just went on and on. But uh, the Royal Caribbean has um, islanders that go on the uh, beach and they sell frozen tropical drinks with rum and that's what this cup was from. And uh, it was six dollars. Well worth it, and you get to keep the cup. So now I have another frozen drink in here with Kahlua in it. But anyway, it was on Harmony of the Seas, big ship, really lovely. Um, so much to do, so much entertainment, so many people. I think the number of uh, voyagers was. Uh, 6,300 and then about 2,000 plus crew members. It was an it was it was phenomenal. There was so much food. I mean, the uh, deck five is uh, one of the decks where they have a lot of um, stores and shops and restaurants and uh, lots of photographers on the ship. People just taking pictures, you know, husbands and wives and families. Lots of both photographs being taken. On the, on the actual ship. Uh, deck 8 was uh, Central Park, where it's uh, a beautiful garden area with benches and trees and bushes and plants, and it's, it's a garden. It looks like a park. Uh, my room was on Deck 9, and uh, my window overlooked Central Park, so it was really pretty. And they have pools, and they have big tuby slides that kids and Adults can just shoot down and jump, you know, these water slides, I don't know, I, rock walls that you can climb. And of course, uh, there's uh, the Windjammer. Um, it's not a restaurant, it's like a cafeteria, all you can eat, you know, big buffet, and that's open breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they have several dining rooms, and I do prefer to eat in the dining rooms a la carte. They have buffet, and they have a la carte, and then they have the Windjammer on the 16th deck, and it's just unbelievable. And then Sorrento's Pizza's on the fifth deck, I think, and they're open till 3 a.m. in the morning. You can go down there, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and get pizza, and it's delicious, and it's always fresh out of the oven. It's just nonstop, I'll tell you. Talk about all-inclusive vacations, the best thing. If you never took a cruise, I highly suggest that you try it. Then there's the entertainment. I mean, we had um, a, a musical play called uh, Something with Columbus. It was about the, uh, uh, the nephew of uh, Christopher Columbus and how he sailed on a ship. Only about an hour. Musical. And they had Greece. I think every cruise line in America has Greece as, as one of their plays, but it was really, really done very well. And they said it's only about an hour, hour and a half at the most. And they're very entertaining. Big theaters, you know, Every seat is a good one uh, as far as being able to see the performers on stage. They had an ice show that was 
terrific. And then they had an aqua show with divers in this pool, and it was a show. Oh, that was phenomenal. Uh, I was, um, you know, they get, they splash and they stomp and they, they throw water at you and it's so much fun. I mean, you don't really get wet unless you're, we were, I think, I think me and a couple of people that I met on, sh on, on ship were about five or six rows back and uh, we got a couple little drops on us because they're very, and then they have, uh, you know, they splash and they dance and they dive and there's some, there's, they show you the first three, the first three rows of splash area. You will get wet if you sit here, they forewarn you. So we were about two rows behind that, we were fine. Uh, high diving, I mean, oh my God, you know, what, what is he, crazy? <laughs> He's way above, on the, on the, practically on the top of the, the tippy top of the ship, and they, shh, boom, and they dive in, and they come up. And then, it's a deep water pool. It's not humongously big, but then there's a flooring that comes up so that they can dance in shallow water. And then that'll go down and they're diving again or swimming again. And all of a sudden you see these legs come up, you know, and their legs are going around. <laughs> it's so much fun. And then there was a woman, a, a, a guy on a tightrope that was walking across to up above. I said, you better not fall down. But he was, he had a tether on. He wouldn't have landed on anybody's head. And they had a woman on a, like a little harness and she was flying around and doing acrobatic things. And, it was just so much fun, and the costumes and the lighting, uh, everything is just so professional, so theatrical, it's so entertaining. And uh, each bar has their own piano player or band, and they had calypso music, and they had uh, boleros, had uh, you know Spanish music going, uh, so, uh, so, what is it, uh, Sorrentos, Salernos, Salernos bar? had a piano player and they have like uh, trivia, you know, name that tune. There's always something going on. And uh, you never get bored. I never got bored. And the cabin was very comfortable. The bed, not so much. Kind of hard and rocky, bumpy, you know, um, not, not the ship. The ship, you, know, you feel a little bit, not much. Uh, I was not that comfortable in the bed that I had, but the room was beautiful. The bathroom was spacious and the shower was spacious. Um, I was in deck nine, like I said, and having the window um, does help, you know, you get a lot of light when you do have a window. Uh, balcony rooms, of course, are much more expensive, but you know, I don't particularly need a balcony. I, uh, my first cruise was just an interior room. It was all closed up. There was nothing. It was okay. You don't spend that much time in the room anyway, but having this room, which was larger with a window over facing Central Park was much more enjoyable to be in. So yeah, guys, I had a great time. Uh, Royal Caribbean, Harmony of the Seas is a ship I was on. Uh, we left out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I uh, arrived at Fort Lauderdale the day before. My uncle Carl, who lives in the area, picked me up. And uh, I went and stayed by his house with him and his wife, Shelly. And we had the day and the evening. And we had a good time uh, visiting. And uh, he's got a beautiful home with a pool in the back. And, then the next day he drove me to the ship and he picked me up when I, uh, when we docked, we came back after seven days of cruising and uh, I stayed another, the day, I just stayed the day because I had an 8.30 flight out of Fort Lauderdale to go home on Sunday night. So we, I, I had, a, I was off the ship by about 9.30 in the morning and I didn't have to leave for home until 8.30 at night. So I had, I had time to spend with my uncle and his wife, Shelly, which was a nice day. We had a lovely dinner at a restaurant, and they brought me to the airport. And home I came, but uh, wonderful, wonderful time. Only drawback, and it's my own fault, I'm just not accustomed to being on beaches. And we had uh, gone to uh, we two days at sea, uh, leaving Fort Lauderdale. And then we went to Puerto Rico, uh, and I took it. No, we went to St. Martin. And I took the, the tour, uh, bus tour. We disembarked from the ship and we walked um, down the pier. There was no uh, tether boats, no boats where you had to go by boat from the ship to the shore. Everywhere where we, where we went, the islands that we docked at had a, you know, a big concrete pier that you just get off the ship, off the gangplank and gangway, whatever it is. Oh, gangplank, no gangway. 
and uh, he just walked down this big kind of pier to the to, to the island. So the first stop was St. Martin, and I got on a, to, a tour uh, boat, uh, a tour bus, and uh, we toured the island. Uh, and they had the Dutch side of St. Martin and the French side of uh, of St. Martin, and we went to both. And we got off at various places, you know, for shopping, an ice cream, a stretch, photo, uh, photographs, uh, beach areas here and there. Uh, and St. Martin, I have to say, was disappointing. Um, I'm sure maybe somewhere along the line they had beautiful beaches, but we were taking the land tour where we were just going through the towns and cities, and it's really just a bunch of junky shacks, polluted waterways, and garbage everywhere. So uh, don't waste the $39 for the tour. It's disappointing from St. Martin. However, next stop was San Juan, Puerto Rico. Lovely. Uh, $44 for the tour. Um, and uh, each tour was about three or four hours, by the way. Uh, so you have plenty of time to kind of see where you are. And uh, we went to uh, Old San Juan, which was, oh, it was just so lovely and quaint. And uh, the no, and of course, the, the, the driver of the bus is giving you a tour, and he's pointing out all the buildings and what they are and what they do. And there's a lot of um, monuments and statues. And uh, we passed an area where on the street there was a statue of every one of our um, American presidents. Uh, all the way up to, I think the last one was Obama. You know, all these statues of people, of, uh, you know, Lyndon Johnson and Kennedys and Obama. Trump wasn't up yet. I don't know if they'll put him up, who knows. But needless to say, it was a lovely city. We stopped at a bakery, we stopped for margaritas, they had the pina coladas and uh, stands and uh, souvenir places where you can buy souvenirs. and. Um, and then we went to New San, New San Juan, which is just fancy hotels, big buildings, beaches, uh, the citified portion of, of Puerto Rico. So you can see the old quaint San Juan, and then you see the new Puerto Rico. And um, it was nice. It was a nice, a nice tour. It was well worth the money. And then back to the ship by 530, uh, and then we went off to uh, Lambert D. Haiti. And that, my friend, is where Cookie Lou got in trouble. I said, oh, I'm going to go on the beach. I'm going to have a good time, spend a day on the beach, relax under a palm tree, get a little frozen rum, tropical rum drink. I, put, I had a little tiny tube. I don't know what I was thinking. A little tiny tube of sunscreen. I put a little here, a little here, put a little here. I put nothing on my, on my legs, my knees, my feet, nothing. And we were under a palm tree, and there was about four other women. You know, they had most of the shade. I was kind of semi-shade, and then nothing. At the end, my my little beach chair, uh, long lounge chair. Uh, it was tropical. It was breezy. It was not hot. I wasn't feeling any heat. I was fine. I didn't go in the water, as you know. I had a bathing suit and then a little pair of uh, swim trunks uh, oh, yeah, oh, over the bathing suit, well, under the bathing suit. No, well, I had a skirt bathing suit and I had these little trunk things. And uh, it came up to my knee to cover my fat, lumpy legs. I hate to show my legs on the beach, just so, especially when you stand up. All the little nips and tucks I got on my arms and belly and repairs on the breast, but my legs, I got nothing done, and they're a mess. So I usually try to cover them, up, cover them up as much as possible. So from the knees down to my toes, I was exposed, and I got the burn from hell. I looked like a blowtorch hit. I don't know why I didn't put any sunscreen on my legs, but I've been suffering uh, for three days with uh, really severe sunburn, and I got a big old blister on my left foot right underneath the bridge of my toes. Uh, I did go back on the ship and I went to the the doctor on the ship. Didn't see the doctor because he was busy with people who were really sick. Uh, and I saw the nurse and I got some bad sunburn. So she, I said, she kind of took a brief look at my, I lifted up my skirt and I said, okay, red feet, really bad. 
So she gave me uh, aloe vera gel. It's this green bottle of gel. She says, well, this is good. It'll, it's got lidocaine in it. It'll take all, out the sting and be cooling and soothing. And hopefully you won't, the blister will peel if you put it on three or four times a day. It's $11. As well, you think I need something a little strong, like a prescription? It's just, it's $11. You want it, buy it, you don't want it, it's your, your business. <laughs> Not very helpful at all. I said, well, all right, then I guess I'll buy it. Here's my little cruise card. Charge it to my room, and I went home, and I went off to the cabin. I started slapping that stuff on my, oh, God, it hurts so bad. And here it is now, days later, and I'm still very... Very sore to the touch, but not as bad. I'd say it's probably 50% better. So that's my trip. That's what I did. Um, had a lovely time. Uh, food was very good on the Royal Caribbean Harmony. Uh, service was good. Uh, everything is good. Good afternoon, Madame. Good evening, Madame. How are you doing? Are you enjoying your cruise? What would you like to eat? Would you like to start with a drink? Would you like a little Moscato with, with your dinner? Sure, why not? Pour me a glass. You know, but um, um, it was well worth the, the, the trip, the time, the money. I really enjoy cruising. It's the second one I've ever taken in my life. The first one was about three years ago. Uh, that one was a Norwegian line, um, harm, uh, the getaway. And uh, it was a lovely cruise as well. Smaller ship, uh, big enough. This one was humongous. I think I prefer a smaller ship. I mean, it was just a lot of people coming and going, a lot of kids, you know, and lines. Uh, but if you make reservations, if you want to see a show, I went to the comedy club about three times. And I had met both these comedians on the Norwegian Getaway three years ago. And now they were performing on the uh, Royal Caribbean Harmony. So I knew him, you know, I knew Phil, uh, Phil Soul, uh, his name is, and uh, the female partner of his, well, it's not, well they, 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 they play together, you know, they're, they're not married or anything, but uh, uh, I forgot her name, uh, Dora something, funny as hell, both of them are so funny. So I went to their show twice, and, I, and even though I heard the, the, the routines, I just laughed my ass off. They were just so funny, you know. And uh, so I went to musicals. I went to, uh, oh, the funniest thing. I, this is going to be the longest video. The funniest thing is they had Dancing with the Stripes. They got people from the audience, men and women, that would volunteer to come down and dance with the officers of the ship. Workers, you know, the people in the white uniforms, you know, with the stripes, you know, whatever, the, whatever their, their um, nautical position is. And they were hilarious. It was the funniest show. They had them doing different dances, and then they had like four judges on, on a panel. They were going to have a process of elimination until they get to the winner. They had them doing different routines. And the more, the more crazy they got, the more funny they got, the the better for them as a, as a dancing couple. Never laughed so hard in my life. And then they had some kind of a uh, scavenger hunt thing where uh, one of the, uh, the guys who was uh, one of the performers on the ship was like an MC. Okay, I wanted to see uh, uh, whoever comes down here with the ladies' brassiers. Hurry, 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 nine, eight, seven. They're all taking off their bras and they're handing them to the people on the, on the, on the platform and they're running around with the bras and then, okay, any man that comes down here with his pants in his hands, that <laughs> guy takes off pants, he runs down there in his shorts and he's handing his pants. And this just went on and on and on and on and it was, it was funny, you know. These people, I mean, some of these girls, were going down in their thong underwear, stripping, taking off, you know, uh, uh, any, uh, they're a pair of twins. I want to see a pair of twins. A lot of girls were doing this with their shirts. And there was a camera. So that when they were lifting, they that's not the kind of twins I was asking for, but I'll take it, you know, look what I'm seeing, a pair of twins, you know. But anyway, it was fun, fun, and funnier. And I highly recommend, uh, you know, um, that you go. Take a cruise.
Um, I'm not a drinker, like I said, but I did enjoy my tropical drink on the beach, and I did buy about maybe three or four drinks while uh, wine or Moscato or Sidventel. When I was having my evening meal, um, I indulged in that, and I uh, sat at the bar a couple of times and uh, got a frozen um, mudslide or tropical drink, you know, because they have uh, entertainment in these in these clubs and bars and. Uh, or the clubs might be on one deck and then the deck overlooking the railing, the deck below, they had a lot of entertainment uh, going on down there. They had dancers, they had uh, masquerade parades, I mean, with costumes. I mean, it was just nonstop fun and music and entertainment. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. So I just wanted to share my time with you, tell you I'm home. And I um, had a great time. And if you have never cruised, I suggest you do. That's it from Cookie Lou in Arizona. Uh, this is a very long video, about 21 minutes. And uh, so if you stuck with it, I hope you, uh, you learned all about cruising. Okay. Bye, everyone.